The Prince of Darkness, who was everywhere, who whispered evil thoughts into the minds of the unguarded, tempting them to sign his book, Satan. Body Essex Museum was so kind to invite me and my collection to its museum. I'm here to talk about my collection and you know kind of usher in this amazing opportunity for me to show everyone just how wonderful and beautiful I think these movie posters are. You know when I think about the mummy I think about pyramids and you know desert sand and uh, Luxor in the Valley of the Kings. The first time I had ever been to Salem was only about six or eight months ago, and I'm surprised that, that I wasn't clued into how cool Salem actually was, and I never really looked into Salem or, or any of its local culture. So when I got here, I was really surprised. I had no idea that it was so steeped deeply in its history of the Salem witch trials and witches in general. And so when I got here, I thought, this is a really cool place. He had come to New England to undo God's kingdom, forever watching, watching, waiting to claim his own. So the reason we start talking about Satan, of all things, is because in 1692, maybe a little bit unlike today, the supernatural world and the real world for the Puritan mind was real. So the fear involved there really set the undertone to why the witch trials happened in the first place. So you can basically say that it was all Satan's fault for all of this. I would say, yeah, yeah, it was Satan's delusion for sure. We introduced Tichuba because she was one of the first three people accused of witchcraft. And she would have been somebody very likely to be accused because she was a woman of color and because she was a slave. She was automatically suspicious. So she was an outsider. And this is a huge story about being an outsider and being the other. That was the platform that enabled everyone else to start prosecuting all the people who were different and not like them. I think these people thought that they were doing the best thing possible. They felt righteous about what they were doing. They were ferreting out witches from their midst. They were ferreting out the bad guys, the terrorists, if you will. They were, they were doing a public service. Indeed. I, I'm, I'm sure that that's what they thought. Exactly right. So I think that's what's really important is to not disidentify with the Puritans because I think it's easy for us to think, oh, they were just these crazy, you know, really strict people. But we all hold ideas about how people can be good or not good, and we project those ideas. And when somebody doesn't conform to those ideas, then we vilify and persecute those people but especially in times of stress. We, the jurors, find Rebecca Nurse guilty. Nineteen would hang, and hundreds all over New England would be sent to jail, some for up to seven years, languishing forgotten, long after the obsession with witchcraft had died away. They left England because they were an outside group and they, they, they immigrated to America to escape the same sort of persecution. And then once they got to America, they ended up identifying with their persecutors and started doing their own persecution of their own kind. More weight, so be it then, more weight. When hysteria occurs, people are not in a very good thinking state of mind. Right, I mean, we're humans. When we become afraid, Naturally, we're going to, you know, try to protect the things that we value. And like you say, it is easy to just get all wound up in the anxiety and stop using your reason. So I think if there's a message, it's that this is the time when you step back and listen and understand first before you go on a witch hunt. Not only do they take immense effort to remember the witch trials, as important as they are, but that culture has been cultivating, it seems like, for the last 100, 150 years, because there's tons of witchcraft shops, occult bookstores, witch-themed like places to eat here. I mean, it's everywhere. It's so ingrained. And for me, 
having, you know, that kind of aesthetic, which is the occult, supernatural, paranormal, you know, it's, it's all a part of the horror genre. I feel perfectly at home at this place, and I am so impressed at how cool it is.